Hey everyone, welcome to my happy space. I am so sorry that this video has taken so long to film and put together, but it's all done and I just want to say my apologies if the camera is too shaky. I had to hold the camera with my right hand most of the time to get all the different angles. Um, so here we are and I'm just going to start with the left side of the room. So as you first enter and right behind the door to my room, there's a clear acrylic nail polish rack. But you can totally use these for storing Nouveau drops, acrylic paints, ink refills, or alcohol inks. These racks also come in a variety of sizes if you want one that is either smaller or bigger. Um, they're just useful for so many things and I highly recommend it for either a makeup room or a craft room. This area over here is my makeup area, aka my battle station. And it, how I have it set up is I have two floating IKEA lac shelves. On the top shelf, I just have three bins that I got from Home Goods that hold my supply of makeup remover wipes, any extra makeup bags, and hair accessories that I don't use very often. On this second shelf, this larger tin here is a container I found at Tuesday morning. And I just don't like seeing all the tubes of lotions and creams and serums that usually take up a lot of space on my table. So they all sit in here. Uh, back there are customized eyeshadow palettes. This wooden house here is from the Target Dollar Spot and it just holds my Tokidoki Blind Box toys from the Donatella Sweet Friends series. This one here is Bubble Love and she's my favorite because she embodies the lighter parts of my soul I feel. Over here are my eyeshadow palettes and yes I'm an eyeshadow junkie. The cool tower that holds them all is an organizer from Instagram user for her vanity and I will link her shop down below. Um, she just makes all sorts of cool organization for makeup but some of them can totally be repurposed to hold like crafty supplies for sure. So just keep an open mind when it comes to what you could use for organization. So down here this is actually the IKEA mom table. And I really love it because it has like a giant drawer that I could organize and have all of my makeup in. Well, maybe not all because obviously I have some on top. Um, but let me show you guys what's sitting on top before I go into the drawer. So I just have some acrylic organizers here and you could totally use these for your craft supplies as well. Um, this gold and glass one over here is from Target. I have another one over here. This acrylic one, I think it's from Amazon, but you could totally use these for, for example, your pigment inks, your pens, your markers, uh, whatever crafty supplies you have. So this is how I organized my IKEA mom dresser. Um, I have four plastic Antonius drawer organizers um, sitting inside the giant drawer. I actually went through different revisions on how I wanted this organized, but I think this is the best way that worked for me. So these Antonius drawers, you can't actually just buy them from Ikea and stick them in. What I did was I bought four and as you can see when I pull that out like this actually has five compartments and I just used my fuse tool to cut the top off that way they fit into the drawer like this. Um, if I could go back I would probably use like an acrylic cutting blade that you could get from Amazon for around six dollars just so it would have been easier and a lot cleaner but I really like these organizers because a lot of the drawer organizers you get for example from like Marshalls or Home Goods are really like shallow and these are really deep and they hold like a ton of my makeup and I just want you guys to think of using this system in different ways. For example, you could be storing your pencils, your markers, your paintbrushes, 
everything pretty much in your craft room could be organized in here. So I highly recommend using the Antonius drawer organizers from Ikea. So this is the tiny closet in my office and as you can see it goes all the way up top and it's pretty crammed with just stuff. Um, there's nothing too interesting in here that I need to show you guys but I will show you these two containers and how I organize them next um, and then nothing too interesting or fun at the bottom. So the first container I wanted to show you guys was my iris container. Um, this actually organizes photos and you could get it at Michael's or Joann's. Um, it holds 16 containers and on the right side here I just have them organized by rainbow order. Um, what I put in here are all of my embellishments. So for example if I'm doing a layout for Project Life, I just pick out the containers that have um, pieces of you know embellishments that go with my layout so I have my purples here these are my blues and you can put everything in here like of that color so you have buttons flowers die cuts pretty much anything and what I like about this is that I don't have to go about my room looking for all the individual pieces that could go in the layout pretty much and I just like how they're all contained in this system so this is a box by a company called Close to My Heart and you could only buy it online or through one of their affiliates I believe. And what I like about the container is that it's really deep and it has these little plastic segments you could add or remove to organize your container in however which way uh, suits you best. So I actually spent a couple days organizing all of my Project Life cards. Uh, picking through and seeing which sides I liked the best. After that, I sorted them out by color, and then if they were like multicolor or metallic, they had their own little piles. And then I just took some cardstock and laminated that so that it had these color coordinating dividers in the organizer. So one recent and pleasant change to my craft room is that I now have a permanent and designated space for all of the clunky machinery, I guess, that's in my room. Um, this is a three-tier uh, printer stand that I got on Amazon and it was like 79 bucks. But I like that it's on wheels and that the middle shelf here is adjustable. So I'm able to fit my colored laser printer on top. And there was even extra space uh, for me to put my silhouette right next to it. And then underneath that is my giant um, inkjet printer. And then below that I just have all of my paper piles or my sacks of paper and then all of my cutting supplies down here. So I just like that it's out of the way and all the chunky stuff are in one corner of the room. So I'm now starting at the left side of my desk area and I'm just going to start at the top left over here. So this is just a cute little tiered container that I found at Home Goods for like six bucks. And I just use it to hold my cute little Nouveau drops. This giant Hello Kitty head thing here is where I have my baby wipes. And I just like having it close by because I usually smudge a lot of ink. Here is that acrylic recipe box uh, project that I have in another video. Um, I will link that video down below if you guys are curious. Um, this is just a cute little book stand holder I found at the Target dollar spot. And that's just a cute pretty postcard I got in one of my packages. So I have that displayed. So these two containers have quite the story. The left one here is actually from Michaels and it was by the Recollection brand I think like in 2011 and I think I got it for like 15 bucks with my 50% off coupon. Um, so I tried to buy a second one uh, for my growing marker collection last year and I went to Michaels and bought what I thought was you know the same exact one but it wasn't so if you're going to Michaels and you're looking for this container uh, 
if you buy the one that is by the brand Ashland, you're actually going to be buying one that is probably an inch or two shorter. Like, it will not be as tall as this, nor will it hold as many markers. So, I was able to find this one on Amazon, and I believe it's by a company called Simply Built. And it's pretty much the exact same size as my old one that I got from Michaels here. So I'm still a noob at blending with alcohol-based markers, so before investing in Copics, I just wanted to practice with um, a cheaper set. So all of these markers here are Touch New markers, and what I really like about these organizers is that I could take these entire sections out. Um, right over here, I just have like small little 6x6 six six pads of paper that I like to use for my cards. I'm a super big Doodlebug fan, and so I have a lot of those 6x6 uh, six six pads. Love, love, love them because they're always like kawaii. Over here, I just have, um, so I like to tape down like paper that I'm cutting on my silhouette mats. I just feel like... They keep my pages more secure, so that's why I have a giant bowl of washi tape to tape down my papers when I'm using my silhouette machine. Here's my Too Faced bag, and inside are just more stickers. This drawer here is the planner tab and pockets drawer, and it just holds like a lot of my clear planner pockets that I like to use, and any tabs, stickers, and whatnot. Then over here, we have two drawers. This one is the enamel dots and shapes, and it just holds like a lot of my enamel dots and some of my bling. This here is just the twine drawer, and I'm really liking using like twine on my cards, so that's why these are here as well. You guys have probably seen this in one of my other videos, but these are like my favorite stamps and I like to use these for a planner. And these are probably all the stamps that I use the most and probably a third of my sweet stamp shops uh, sets are just sitting in here. So I love this because I can just pull it out and it's all right there. Oh yeah, back there is where I have the cords for my silhouette, so when I'm ready to cut something, I just go over there, put the machine on the desk, and plug it in. And this little container here, I just have my current crafty project, and I'm actually making planner bow clips, and planner charm clips that will be going on my Etsy shop soon. So before I move on to the right side of my desk, um, I'm going to show you the first of my three Alex drawer units. So I have all of my drawers labeled. And so this first one is my cutting supply drawer and it sits here because it's convenient to have uh, next to my silhouette because this table area is where I do most of my silhouette cutting. So this first drawer has all of my cutting supplies and it has everything from my punches to the plates for my cuddle bug. And here are just tools to pick out pieces of paper. Um, here are my blades for my rotary cutter. These are extra blades for my silhouette. Um, more blades for other paper cutters and here are my corner punches. So the drawers are organized by these cardboard um, drawer organizers. They come in a set of five so there's one big one here, two little ones here, and two medium sized ones here. And they're from Ikea and they're called the Grazidan, I believe, and I think they're eight bucks, but I use this system in the first two drawers of each of my Alex drawer sets, and I highly recommend them because they fit perfectly. This next drawer is my embossing supply drawer, and it just has, for example, all of my embossing powders and tools and whatnot. 
Um, still growing that collection, although I'm not too, too much of a fan of embossing just because I don't like dealing with the powders pretty much. This third drawer here is just my supply drawer. And it just has refills for everything. So refills for my label maker, my mechanical pencils, my stapler, pretty much anything that's a refill goes here. And then down here is just a simple like filing thing that I haven't fully organized yet, but I will be getting to that soon. So before I go into any detail about how I have the main crafty part of my desk set up, um, I just wanted to show you guys how I have everything laid out. So if you're like me where you have a really small room and you do not have like a separate table for crafting um, separate from your computer desk, this might work for you. So this desk is pretty much where I craft. It's also where I film for YouTube. It's also where I play video games and work from home occasionally. So it's, it's a really like multi-purpose area pretty much and the way I have it laid out is I have two recollections cubes on each side and they're stacked on top of each other. And what I love about how this is set up is I could literally sit in the center right here and everything I need is within arm's reach. Like I don't even really have to get up to get anything. It's kind of lazy, I know, but I just like that it's so easy uh, to reach for everything and I could actually put almost everything away like within five minutes after crafting. It's insane. So up in this corner are all of my stickers. So in these plastic filey boxes right here, these are all from Daiso and Two of them are each held in these cute, like, magazine, magazine box or magazine rack holders, magazine box, magazine holders. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but they're from the Target Dollar Spot, and they all hold all the plastic bins that I bought from Daiso. And then here is just my Tokidoki bag, and it just holds cords for my camera and whatnot. And then in this green box right here are all of my Japanese or Asian brand stickers that I love too much to use. But to show you guys, I will need to put the camera down and prop everything up for you. So this is my sticker organization system. Um, I used to have all my stickers in these four or I guess eight containers, but... I recently found this and I'm thinking of sorting them in here. So currently, these two are empty and then in here is where, or here is where it starts. This is my box of planner stickers and these are pretty much any sticker sheets I have that have like tiny little icons that would need to fit in a box and whatnot or they're just cute and decorative really. These are sticker books. I don't know why I even bought these because I don't really use them. I'm not really a put stickers in your planner type of person or at least big ones or stickers this big so I stuff all of the recollection sticker books in this one. Scented stickers. And I just love these because they just remind me of my childhood. My sister had this amazing sticker book and she had page after page of scented stickers and she wouldn't let, let me like sniff them all the time. So I feel like that's where my obsession with scented stickers come from. So there's like pizza, there's grape, there's chocolate. Um, oh, this one smells really good. It's like strawberry. Uh, watermelon, cherry. I got some for my niece and they're amazing. Cotton candy and then chocolate. This one says sticker packs, but I think it's pretty empty. So I'm just going to skip that. These are all of my doodle bug ones. I freaking love Doodlebug. It's probably my favorite like American sticker company. 
So every time they come out with a set that has like the cute kawaii face, I typically buy the, like one set of the mini icons. And so these are all the ones they have that have the the cute little kawaii faces on them. And this box are just what I call American stickers, I guess. I don't know what else to call them. But, I don't know, I have alphas that I don't really use. Um, these are just ones I picked up at a scrapbook expo that I want to use in some of my Project Life pages, I guess. Sub I picked up in the dollar section. Um, these are Paper Chase. Oh, I guess Paper Chase is an American, but have those recollections oh I have a obsession with the cute little rainbow poop so I'm obsessed with those I also love sticko because like I feel like that's one American brand that actually does the cute kawaii faces too so stickos are my favorite as well so that's all in this box so this cute box is from Tuesday morning. It says perfect is boring in gold foil and I thought it would be perfect to house my sticker sheets. And okay, so let me just explain. <laughs> um, when I moved out of my mom's house in my 20s, um, one of the things that I liked or wanted to keep from my childhood was mostly all of my stationery which meant a lot of stickers and like stationary sets pretty much. So a lot of this is from my childhood and it's like either 15 to 20 years old, some of this. So not all of this has been like, you know, been getting bought yesterday. So some of the favorite ones or my favorite ones are again like this cute puffy poop one. Oh my God, I love it. It's like glittery. And I haven't been able to use any of these because they're so cute. They're from Japan, most of them, and they're hard to find or they aren't made anymore. So I sort of have like this phobia of like, oh my god, if I use it, I'll never see it again, pretty much. So that is why they are all in this precious box. Um, so in this first cube here, I really like these vertical slots because this is where... I hold, for example, um, my pick scan mat. So this is what I use to die cut all of my stamped images. So I don't buy, you know, corresponding die sets with my stamps. I just use that. And then in these plastic sleeve or pockets, I just have all my different specialty papers. And here I just have like my labeling machine, my scale, here's my paper punch, and my tape dispenser. Um, so this thing right here is my makeshift drawer box. Oops. It doesn't fit perfectly. But what drives me insane about these recollections cubes is that I haven't been able to find like a perfect basket or something that fits into these. And they are so deep like you would have to reach all the way back there to get everything. So I'm still on the hunt for a basket. So if you guys know of anything, please comment down below and tell me where you found your basket that fits in there. And this bottom cube here, let me move some of my stuff out of the way. And these first two slots right here, I have another set of containers by Close to My Heart. And this one just holds like all of my mini Distress Ink cubes. And I like that they're all laid out perfectly in sets here. And then over here, so this one's just like another set of ink. Um, this is just all of the sequins I use in my shaker cards. And then down here, like, I just have, like, these two trays. And what I like to put in there are projects that I'm working on. So if, for example, I'm working on a card, like, over here, and I don't finish the project, I pretty much just stuff everything into one of those and tuck it in there so that it's out of sight and everything I need is contained and easily, you know, taken out um, when I'm ready to work on the project again. 
So on top of my desk, on the wall, I just have a few decorative things. This is a really cute print I got from Kira Kira Doodles. You should really check out her Instagram. She has so many cute little prints. She also has a YouTube, by the way, where she colors. That's just the love, a wooden love script thing that I found at Michael's and then I just painted. And then this cute little um, letter board I found on eBay and it just says, Just married my favorite person on July 15th, 2018 and it has mine and my husband's um, initials and I just love it because it's so cute and I can change it to whatever I need. So sorry for the glare, but one of the changes to my organization is how or where I store all of my felt and vinyl clips. So these are all my planner clips, at least the felt and vinyl ones. And most of these are from, again, Felty Creations by Jess. And I just found like this cute like teal lidded jar from the kitchen section of Tuesday morning. And I just like how it has like all of my planner clips in it now and I have plenty of room to grow. I'm a little bit obsessed but I just think they're so cute and I'm probably going to buy a ton more in the future. So this is the planner collection. And I would say that the planner obsession probably started around the time I was in high school. Like I started... I always liked decorating, I guess, my binders, and then I found a smaller binder, and it sort of just started from there. So, it's actually gotten smaller over the years, but this is what I have now. Um, so, these first three are Doki books. These two are Marion Smith planners. These two are Kiki K's, and then my favorite ones are the Malden line from Filofax. So from here to here are my A5s, and then from here to here are my personal Maldens. This one's um, a Kate Spade planner, and then these. this is a pocket Malden, and then these two are just two patent Filofax. So this cute little Pusheen thing is sort of what drove the inspiration to the color theme of my room. Um, it's also what prompted me to make this puffy or pom-pom garland pretty much. And I just like how it, it brings everything because I, I do have a lot of pink in the room as well and it just ties it all in together. This jar back here just has all the extra letters and words that I use for my board over here. I have two drawers and in the first one I just have like a bunch of loose papers and like stationary things that I like to, I don't know, scribble on if I'm going to add a note to a package I'm sending. And then these are all like memo pads for my planners. And I forgot I actually had some of those. And then in this drawer, I love this drawer. <laughs> I guess I have a thing for tins. I haven't bought any in several years. So I just have like a bunch of tins that uh, hold like different pan sets and pencil sets so these hold my microns I don't know if you guys can see that I hope it's not blurry it's really hard holding the camera with one hand so here is the close-up of the multi-purpose workspace that I use the most um, so when I'm working or I need to use the computer I just pull out my keyboard here and then if I'm ready to craft or draw or letter I just tuck this in here is my cute little Scentsy scooter that I love and then these are all just like that's a journal these just hold like SD cards another lettering journal um, that's my little HP printer and then this is just a cute little carousel oh yeah this is my favorite set of scissors and I just love that it's like sparkly and glitter and teal and it matches the room perfectly. So that's that. 
So this tool carousel here is probably one of the oldest things I've had in my room. Um, I've probably had this since, I don't know, 2008 perhaps. And it just holds like all of my cute little doodle bug pins. Um, all of my oil paint and acrylic paint and all of these scissors that I don't really use but I haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet. These are just USB um, sticks and that's a cute picture of my dog. So in these two Recollections cubes, um, I really love the vertical slots of these and if you're like me, I hate big chunky tools that move around and make a lot of noise. And one of the things I placed, or some of the things I placed in here are my big Martha Stewart scoreboard sits in here, as well as my Tim Holtz stamping platform. And I just like that they have a nice spot here. And I don't have to worry about them jiggling around like against other things. Here I just have like my Cropper Hopper and it just has all of my scrap pieces. And this gets reached for often. Here I just have watercolor paper and my lettering paper. And then these are just my Kipling pencil bags. Um, they're currently empty at the moment because I'm still organizing some of my pencils. But that's what these are. And then this is just a cute um, Too Faced makeup bag that I got that used to hold my clips over there. But now that one's empty. Oh, I really love this four drawer cube. Um, one of the reasons is because they're really deep. So in this drawer, I just have like hard sprays and cleaners. And so all of those like annoying, like ugly little bottles like this, like they're all standing up and I'm able to close the drawer like this. And I just like how it's all held in there perfectly. This bottom drawer here, I just have like acrylic paints and watercolors. Um, this drawer here is one I'm still going through. Um, I don't know what I want to put in it yet, but currently, like, one thing I found is that it really holds, like, my embossing folders really well. They're the perfect size and they just, like, they can be filed across pretty much. And it also holds like my stencils really well too. So I might turn it into like the embossing and stencil drawer. And then back here are just containers I have from Daiso. They're sort of like coupon organizers, but they hold like all of my spare like card pieces pretty much. This is the glitter drawer. I don't use glitter that often, um, but if I do need to use glitter, it is all in here, oops, I guess I still have some sequins in there I need to organize, but they're all in here. So these are my other two Alex drawer units. Um, they are all labeled according to the contents and the drawers closest to me all contain items that I use the most. So in this first drawer, I just have stamp ink and blocks. And again, the first two drawers of each set use the cardboard organizers or cardboard drawer organizers from Ikea. Um, here are just all the inks I use the most for card making and planning. Um, on top here, I have two, or actually this is one of two because there's two in the package. These are drawer trays by a company called M Design that I found on Amazon and they just sit on a drawer and you're able to store items underneath like that. And if you have another set of drawers or other types of drawers I guess that are wider, um, they can easily expand like this. So that is what I use for oops, the drawer up here. This second drawer is just my stamp ink and a blending drawer. Here I just have all of the pads for my distress inks and here are my different blenders. Those are just chalk inks and pigment inks. 
Um, in this drawer here, I just have my stamp supplies and heat tools. So here I have my heat gun. This is my fuse tool with my fusing mat wrapped around it. And then these are just rubber carving blocks because I occasionally like to carve stamps. This is the second um, M Design drawer tray that came in that package. On the fourth drawer here, I just have blank card backings and envelopes. So I pre-cut and folded um, all of my cards so that when I'm ready to make a card, I just pick whatever color I'm going with. So these are organized by horizontal ones and vertical ones. And then over here are just envelopes for the cards and then those are just mailing envelopes and way back there are just store-bought cards for when I don't have time to make cards. At the very bottom are just all of my adhesives. So I have um, packing tape, my tape glider, my Tombow refills, and um, rubber cements and my foam tape pretty much So on the right side the first drawer is just my catch-all drawer and It just has a bunch of random I guess planner things. So I have lists for my paper um, washi tape um, These are just decorative like corrective tape uh, back there just uh, tapes with different prints that I could rip off and place in my planner. So in the second drawer I just have my sticky notes and it's just gone out of hand. <laughs> in this little section here I just have all my loose little bitty pieces that I could easily just grab and place in my planner. These are little post-its or mini post-its that are shaped really cutely. Um, it's just all post-its really. This next drawer is my page flag drawer, and it's one of my favorite drawers ever. Um, I've been collecting this probably for seven years now, so I have a lot from like the Japanese store called Kinokuniya. Um, a lot of it is like Sanex brand, so I have a lot of the cute little Sanex characters. And they all have like little booklets full of more paper in it. So that's what that is. And I just love page flags for some reason. Oops, that's the wrong area. But here are more page flags. And I'm really trying my best to actually use these in my planner. But they're just so darn cute. Like I just, I've been buying them and... I luckily haven't bought any this year. So that's what that is. And then here are just more random loose ones. A lot from the Target dollar spot. So like these. All of this is page vibes. In the fourth drawer here, I have what I call the kawaii envelope drawer. And these are all pretty much just like cute like mini envelopes that are adorable that they've either come from uh, Kirokuniya, Daiso, Ichiban um, online. I also like the pads or memo pads that let you create envelopes out of them. So that's what these are. This is my cute little poop memo pad that I love. Um, those are all more envelopes. These are all mostly envelopes. So I would say out of all my drawers, like this sticky note one, the page flags, and then this kawaii envelope drawer is pretty much all the ones that make me the happiest. Although I do love my pigment eggs too. Um, and then finally, this last drawer just has my cute um, containers that I've had forever. Um, sugar bunnies. This one just has like random sticker flakes in it. This is a Hello Kitty one that I've had forever and it just holds little pens. 
uh, back there is a cinema roll container that has memo pads. And these are just containers I found from Office Max that hold, for example, these are tabs for my planners and plastic baggies. And here are all memo sheets, pretty much. So just cute containers, I guess. So that's it for the Alex drawers. So this is my Rascog, which I've had since 2011 or 2012. And the color of it is sort of what it's what's inspired like my room to be that color pretty much. On the top of the cart are items I like to use the most. So over here are my Tombow pens that I like to use for lettering. Here are my colored pencil and colored pencil blending supplies. These are just planner pens. This is all my white pen, like my white gel pens, my Sharpie pens, and my Posco paint pen. And these are mostly used to correct any stamping lines I may have colored out of. Um, and here I have my Pilot Frixions. I love these because they're erasable. This here are my Sharpie Fine Pens. These are my Sadlers. And then this is just an old uh, set of Pantel markers that I've had since like I was 12. And for some reason they're still really good so I still use them occasionally. And then I have some see watercolor pencils and then more colored pencils. Here are my zebra model liners. And then over here I just have like really cute pencil cases. So I like this one because it looks like lotion or toothpaste or something. And this one's like a really cute little milk bag. And this one just holds colored pencils. On the other side of this. That's just like a palette, and then these are more planner pens I like to use. Here are all of my Wink of Stella pens that I like to use on my cards. On the second tier here, I have my Cuddlebug, and then those are all pens I've had since I was a kid, pretty much, that I have not been able to let go of because my mom gave me most of those. <laughs> On the other side of the second tier. So in this container I just have pretty much like all sorts of oops. So this one just has different like. On this side I just have two containers. So this container just has all of my, let's see planner clips pretty much and I just want to say this is the worst freaking container ever and I got this at Michael's mostly because it was cute and that's what I get and this thing opens quite a bit so I'm going to be replacing this and then behind that was just a set of gel pens and then here are just more um, black pencil pens or black ballpoint pens at the bottom I just have three organizer containers so the first one just has like a lot of my wood veneers the second one just holds a bunch of cute sticker flakes this one is just a bunch of brads and these are the best containers these are by Doris and it has like 32 compartments and nothing spills and you can flip it over and nothing will ever get mixed up like they hold really really well so get these don't get those on the other side and finally at the bottom down there I just have empty uh, books or empty notebooks and then more pencil pens and then that's like a, an empty pencil holder and then that is a box of um, my carved stamp and finally, this is my favorite rainbow corner of the room. This is my IKEA Expedit, which I've had forever. And this is what I get most of my Instagram questions about. So let me give you the details. So over.
over here I just have a jewelry tree organizer that just holds all of my pom-poms and then to the right is my entire washi tape collection which started in I think 2009 or 2010 I believe so I'm sure you guys are curious about the containers. So all of these containers are actually shoe drawer organizers that you can get from the container store. And what I like about it is that it's easily scalable if you have a growing collection of any kind. And you can stack them any which way you need. Um, the way I have all of my washi tape organized is by color. This here is my holiday washi drawer and I would say 80% of it is like Halloween and Christmas because those are my favorite holidays. This one is all of my medium size rolls which are about the ones that are half the size of your normal rolls I guess. Um, this is the skinny washi roll and I actually have some that are thinner than this but this is just um, the ones I have here. So I really like this system. I think it's affordable in terms of storage. It's like eight to nine bucks each. Um, the container store has sales often, so that's when I typically uh, get mine. So I highly recommend these, and you could also stack these any which way you want to fit your space. So definitely check those out at the container store. So over here, I just have um, this cute little cart I have uh, holds a lot of like my extra super thin washies. These are like my glitter rolls and then in this cute little jar. Oh, I got this jar at Target for like 50 cents um, from the clearance section and it just holds like all of my cute like other thin washies that aren't glitter. I guess the ones that are like rainbow or gold foiled perhaps so those all sit in that jar and I will have to show you guys what's in here but I have to set the camera down for a minute so I got these two cute stacking cake boxes from the store Daiso a long time ago and the first one just holds if I can open it with one hand this one just holds my cute little needlepoint projects and I'm trying to do a gallery of little poops pretty much. So that's what sits in here. That way I could just take the container and take it to the living room or my husband's office if I want. Um, and this big container here, this holds all of my favorite washies. So washies that I have and I don't really want to use unless it's for like a really special person for a really special occasion so some of my favorite rolls are this one's by Sanex and it has that cute character that's a whale I think his name is Jinbei San um, so that's one of my favorite rolls I really like this Overwatch I don't know if you guys play video games but Overwatch is a video game and it has all the favorite or my favorite girl characters from the game so on this shelf I just have like my project life pages and my albums. Nothing too special. Um, I have one for my travels and one for everyday projects. So in this shelf I just have all of my standalone dies stored in Queen & Co quilted binders. Um, I do not buy uh, corresponding or matching dies that match my stamp sets because I just use my pick scan mat to die cut and it's so much easier and I don't have to spend money on extra dies which is why I love the pick scan mat so all of these here are just dies that are standalone dies and so Queen Co makes these cute binders and they come in a multitude of colors by the way so these are my large dies and what you could buy from the same company the Queen & Co are all these like thicker like vinyl pockets they're super thick and so in this binder I just have all of my large dies so they're these one pocket envelopes and I'm not too picky about how I sort them like how I've started to sort them is group them all by like what they are so for example if they're all frames they're all together in one binder pretty much so that's how I like to store the large ones if you have medium dies 
they have another set of pockets which are divided into two and I just like this system like I could group all dies that are similar like all my frames all my hearts all like you know right next to each other and I could easily flip through all of these you know I don't really care like what brand it is as long as like it gets the job done for the card I'm working on pretty much if you have smaller dies this is how I store my smaller ones so now you have quads of pockets and so I have all of my um, card tracks on one page I have all of my frames on another these are all like speech bubbles these are all flaps for my dies or flap dies and they're all grouped together so I like how this is working for me This container here is also from the Scrap Expo I went to last year, and I just love it. It's also by the Queen and Company, and it just has like all of the shaker or toppings in individual containers, and it's just like a really pretty rainbow. And they've come out with so much more, and it's just so gorgeous, and I love, love, love looking at it. So I don't know if you guys can see back there, but if you're wondering what's all that stuff behind your binder. So let me move some of these. Um, I used to collect and hoard a lot of Japanese brands like, or I guess you could call them kawaii memo pads. So kawaii means cute. So there's all sorts of cute little memo pads. Um, from Japan and I just loved these because they had so many different prints on them and So that's just my collection back there. Nothing too special Next over here this um, Cool container or storage unit is by the company Stampin storage and they make it so that it perfectly fits into your IKEA Expedit or Calyx units and so I got this one, I think, last Thanksgiving, and it holds all of my Simon Says Stamp ink pads. And these are all um, swatches I made by stamping on pieces of paper, and then I glued them onto the edges. That way I know exactly what to color the ink will look like once it's dry. Behind this, I have more of those cute Japanese memo pads. So that's what's all behind there. So this is another cool storage unit by the company Stampin Storage, the same one that I got the ink pad holder from. Again, it's meant to fit into an IKEA Expedit. Um, for those of you who like your 12 by 12 papers, they make them for 12 by 12 papers as well. Um, I personally just work with cards, so I got the one that holds the 8.5 by 11s, just so I could also have the extra space on the side to hold um, any extra specialty papers I may have. So I recently installed four of these double drawer units. These um, will fit into your Calax or even your older Expedia if you if that's what you have like me. Um, so I have four across that go like this. So the reason for the drawers is that I have a growing and plan on expanding my stamp collection. So in this drawer here, these are just my Atelier Dreams and Lawn Fawn stamps. So again, um, I put my stamps in pockets just like everyone else. However, I've gone an extra mile and actually cut them down and fused them so that the pockets are actually smaller. Those pockets are so much bigger than they need to be, like your stamp sets are typically only 4x6. And the reason why I cut them down is because I want to fit more in my storage units and I also want to file them like this. Um, so in the front here are stamp sets that I haven't uh, made pockets for yet, so that's why they're still sitting there. But once I do, so once I have my 4x6 
um, stamp sets put in pockets. I store them horizontally. That way I could just, you know, find them like this. But if I have these smaller pockets, for example, Lawn Fawn has a lot of those like tiny, I don't know if they're like 2 by 3 size stamp sets. I like to double them up like this. Just because, like, they're too tiny to waste the whole pocket on. And those pockets, you know, while there's a lot, they're not very cheap. So I like to double up on the bitty ones. That way I can also see more as I'm flipping through. So that's how I have my Lawn Fawn and Atelier Dreams. Um, I guess Atelier Dreams are smaller sets are done the same way, just like this. This is my growing sweet stamp shop and sassy club drawer. Um, I currently have a lunchbox uh, propping up all the stamps from behind just because a lot of my other sweet stamp shop stamps are in that basket that's on my desk. So I have a lot of those. So again, they're they're fused and cut. Again, we have the 4x6s over here. Um, one way I like to store the longer, thinner ones is by doubling them up sort of like this. So here's one with just one stamp. But, for example, here is how I like to store the two sets. So I fuse this in the middle and then I have labels for each and then they're filed away just like all the others and I can see more as I go along. And again, they have the smaller ones too, so I fit them in tinier pockets like this. So that's the Sweet Stamp Shop and Sassy Club uh, drawer. This one's the Mama Elephant and Simon Says Stamp section. And there's actually more than Mama Elephant. So here we have like Mommy Lay, Studio L2E. Just all sorts of cute ones, and the ones back there are ones I haven't trimmed down yet, but it's a work in progress. It's clearly Besotted and Desert Divas. Um, this drawer just has like uh, designer packages that I'm not allowed to show yet, so I'm not going to open that drawer. Or bigger sets that I haven't cut down yet. This one is just all sentiments pretty much, and I have to trim down these still. In this drawer here, I just have um, embellishments. So this drawer just has like a bunch of tool, my doilies, googly eyes and whatnot. All sorts of stuff I use for planner and cards sit in here. So the bottom section is all containers from Ikea. Most of it is like, you know, stuff you don't need to see like cords or they're empty still. Um, I did pull out three bins that you guys might find interesting. So in the first bin I have a deco tape and for those of you who don't know, deco tape came along before washi tape. And it's pretty much like, just like packing tape but it came in really cute prints and this is sort of what I was obsessed about before there were cute prints or of washi tape pretty much. And so I just really liked um, using these for packages for outgoing mail, like this one is like Care Bear print, more Care Bears, and you know, just reminded me a lot of my childhood. Um, this one's a really cute Rainbow Bright Roll, and I haven't used it because I love it so much. Um, they came in like, so these are large rolls, and then these are medium rolls. And uh, here's a really interesting one. It's like Hello Kitty, but she's goth. <laughs> uh, just a whole bunch of random ones. In this box is my entire collection of sticker sacks. And for those of you who don't know, sticker sacks are like containers of sticker flakes. So these are all closed or brand new packs of sticker sacks and flakes from Japan that I have not opened. Like these are my rares and like you can't even find them anymore but I'm obsessed and I just love it. So these ones have like cuter like little PVC packaging and what I loved is that some of these like even smelled like strawberry or chocolate and I have them all grouped so here's more 
has containers. These are all by brand, so they're Sanrio. These are Pool Pool, Mind Wave, Cameo. Um, I don't know who made that one. Oh, there's a cute little poop one right there. But these are all just sticker flakes, and I don't think I will be getting rid of any of these anytime soon. This last box here is my box of stationery, and this is probably older than anything else in my room. So, a lot of this is probably from elementary school, even, because I used to like writing um, letters to my friends when I was little. But it's just stuff like, I was probably buying these even until I was in college because they were just so cute. So like, I liked all the cute little characters. I um, also loved Rila Kuma. Um, let me find some older things. Oh yeah, this is a cute like, Sanrio set right here. I have a really old one in here, you guys. Let me look. Okay, I found it. Okay, this one is from 1995. And it is an old, like, Sailor Moon stationery set. And I was just, like, in love with it forever. But some of these, like, here, like, Pachaco, like, 1994. I wrote so many, like, letters to my best friend just seeing with these. Um, just so many cute ones that I've never been able to let go of. And most of these are especially from my mom. So they have even more, like, sentimental value. Here's, oh, like, oh yeah, here's a cute little Toki Doki set. Um, so many cute ones. I don't even have a favorite. Oh, yeah, here. I love Jinbei-san again. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... I haven't been able to let go of it. I keep hoping that one day I'll have a kid that I could just, you know, give all of this to. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Because <laughs> I'm still a big kid myself. So that's what's in here. Just a whole bunch of cute letter sets that are unopened, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks for watching another video and see you guys next time.